good morning. And where am I today? Well, I've driven for 40 minutes to a place called, I think it's Bella Valley Gap. And behind me are two mountains. Um, and I'm going to climb them today. So I am south of the border. I'm in County Cavan. And I've parked up at this sort of picnic area. And I'm hoping I can pick up the path pretty quickly here behind me. So come with me. This is a new walk for me. And hopefully it will be an exciting walk. And I'll reveal more as we go along. So there's a lovely map here at the picnic site. And it tells me where I am. So I've come from there. Come across country. Come down to Swanland Bar. I've come down here and I've come across. And here's exactly where I am now. And I'm hoping to climb up the back of this range to Quilka, a route I've never done before. Now, there is another peak up here called Ben Beg, I think it's called. It's about 1,700 feet, so it's substantial as well. Um, so it's going to be an interesting walk. I, I, I think my path is out the back here. Um, and then I weave through the forest and then I pick up a trail that takes me along the ridge. What is actually good is <laughs> I'm already up about... Oh, I don't know, maybe a thousand feet, um, because the, the the road climbed up the hills, so a lot of the elevation is done. So hopefully this will be a lovely walk, a new walk and uh, an exciting walk. So come with me. Here we go, setting off on a new adventure, trying to climb Quilca from Southern Ireland, from the south flank. And uh, wow. Some of the views that are opening up there are just incredible. It's lovely to see the sun. And uh, I wonder will we see any wildlife in this walk? Well, I'm on my own today on this walk. Um, Andrea is on granny duties. And I'm just going to use this as a, a just a nice walk to explore a new area and enjoy myself. I found this route on the Outer Active app, so it seemed about seven people had put the route up, so that means it's substantial, so it should be good. It should be good. I'm not expecting a great path once I get beyond the forest, but I'm sure it'll be clear which way to go. So at this point, uh, my pathway zigs to the right. That sheep in front of me, she's not impressed. She has sauntered off. I'm disturbing her. Nice sound of the water there. So far this path is perfect. Just spotted, just spotted some wild mushrooms. Never seen them that colour before. They're a red colour. You see them there? There's a few more up here. See? In there, quite a few. Just wonder, are they poisonous <laughs> or not? Oh, some stunning views there, aren't they? Absolutely cracking. I think the views will get better as you go further up. So, just zigging around here to the left now. Should be out of the forest very shortly. I think the down jacket's gonna have to come off because it's starting to get warm, 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 warm. Okay, so I've reached this satellite communications mast and uh, this is the end of the forest. So clearly there's a path here and that's my way to go. I can see fence posts up there. So I think that's my ridge walkway. So again, stunning, stunning scenery. And if I turn around this way, I'm gonna go right into the sun, but it just is fantastic. A lot of water down there. 
Okay, coming up alongside the communications aerial, and I want to get up there. So there's a little stile up there. So I'll cross over there, and then I think follow the fence. I'm just gonna take this view again. A little wispy cloud going past with this lovely. Just worth it for this. Okay, just across this stile, and you can see clearly that there's a path, a, a trodden path in front of me. What's the sign saying? Grouse conservation in progress. Well, I'll not be annoying them, that's for sure. Here we go. Oh, just pausing to get my breath. It's nice to get the, the boots onto grass again, but you can see a path straight up there. And that's a great sign. We'll go for that. This is almost vertical. Not quite. Whew. Okay. That looks to me to be my first view of Polka Summit. So Clearly going in the right direction. I tell you, the views are opening up even more up here. I hope the wind isn't affecting the sound too much here, but this is just gorgeous. Yeah, I think now what I'm going to get now is Vista off my ridge walk up there. Wow, look at that. So this is the summit of Ben Berg, 1761 feet. I don't see a trick point anywhere, so I didn't know if it was one or not, but I'm at the highest point. Uh, or I passed the highest point, but it's just beautiful up here. So I'm just landmarking it that I've been here. Woohoo! Oh, that's right. So, summit of Ben Berg, done. So the path now seems to follow the ridge line. I can just see it all in front of me. So we'll keep going with this and it should take us all the way around Quilka, which is lovely. I'm seeing footmarks here, so obviously people have been up here uh, fairly recently. Um, I haven't met anybody yet, so I'm not expecting to meet anybody. Continuing to skirt uh, the side of the ridge here. You sort of see the path going along there the whole way. It's a very clear path. It's a wee bit muddy, but in summer, this would be a, a really good path. A really nice one. So we keep going. Quilt go ahead, getting closer. Uh, I've reached a little downhiller. I see a path up to that little peak that I might, I might go up to. Depends on the energy. Well, I'm up on the top of that little crag now. And uh, yeah, views are absolutely brilliant. The ability today is wonderful. I'll just turn it around here. That's a way. You won't get this view too much. It's leaked to my cabin that way. I just paused for a little break. Three and a half K done, which is an hour and ten minutes gone, so we're making good progress. Cook is getting nearer and nearer. The path is boggy in places and stony in places, uh, so it's a bit of a mixed bag, but you have to take what you get. And you know, once 
my stick did go. It got stuck down in, in, a, in a hole and I had to sort of pull it out. So hands have got a bit muggy, but no, it's fantastic. Fantastic so far. Really lovely. Yeah, some nice rock structures ahead here. Cliff structures. And uh, I love that tree where it's perched. <laughs> it's class, isn't it? That'd be a long way to come to get your Christmas tree every year. Just the lone tree on its own. Absolutely fantastic. Photographer's dream, I'd say that. And I'm not the the first to probably come in here and take the photograph of that tree. Just a pity the clag has come in, so I might wait a wee bit. See if that'll clear and we'll get a, a quilk of you, because that would be an outstanding picture. <laughs> Very unique. Heartbeat. Oh, so first coffee break over. First Mars bar eaten. We're pressing on to the summit. A cloud has come in. It's not going to clear at the moment. So we'll just go on. Please clear. Please clear. I like this rock. It's a bit of a marker, isn't it? But the final push is on. The flag is clearing there, up behind me. It is surrounding me. Isn't it lovely? Let's record a bit of this. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. That was one of the worst bits of muck I've stepped in. I just didn't see it. Mud will dry, won't it? It will dry. I've just come up that path. It's marked here with a pile of stones. It's great. Oh, the wind has got up. And I think I'm now on the wind. few steps it's taken us just two hours uh, to get here that's with a bit of stopping and passing about but green it's a good route in the summer it'll be very dry and it'll be a lot, lot easier than what it was for me so anyway let's get up and bag this peak Many times it's done this, but it's been a lot. Oh. Little shelter around here. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta go up on the stones and do it. 
There we go. Find the tag. There it is. Is that a metal man but go? Hold up here, so I'm gonna get off the top and I'm gonna get down uh, off the ridge. Uh, I've looked around for another path, but I could not see one that could go down that way, but it just doesn't seem to be one. Uh, certainly not a safe one. So I'm just gonna head back the same way I came and possibly try and miss out uh, Ben Beg. I could miss that out, uh, find the forest track. Um, it might save me a wee bit of time, so, yeah, I'm thinking of doing that actually, but I need to find it, but if I don't, I don't, just go back the same way, get out and back, we'll just get a different view of the whole thing, so, come on, come with me, I'll be back at the little pile of stones, and I'm going to descend, basically down the way that I came up, so, there's the marker, there's the ridge, Gotta go along. It's like a horseshoe, really. Okay, continuing on my merry way back to the, the car. This part of the path kind of reminds me a wee bit of the moorns. And then back there, we we're on the grass, it reminded me of the Lake District, so it's it's got a bit of everything, this walk. What it certainly has is the views. And the views are phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Oh, just had my second sort of foot down in the mud thing. So, look at this one. Oh, not good, not good, but <laughs> we walk on. <laughs> oh, I've reached the, the little tree again and uh, I think it's time for coffee and another horse bar. What do you think? Good job, good idea. Definitely, more sustenance and then the final trudge back. Okay. Okay, progress good, very good. And uh, after that coffee, I revived, put an inch to my step, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back over Ben Berg there. Ben Beg, I think it is, Ben Beg. And then drop down to the forest and back to the car. Hopefully back for about half 12. With three and a half hours, I hope. I hope. Well, that's most of the, the hard work done now. Like almost at the top of uh, Ben Beg again. Just met two people, uh, two lovely guys. One guy, Kevin, really nice, really chatty. Wanted to <laughs> tell me all his stories. Uh, so, if you ever watch this video, uh, thank you, Kevin. Yeah. Did a wee active service for me. What I did realise when I met those two guys was I should have worn gaiters today. I completely forgot. Completely forgot. Should begin to see the aerial. The communications aerial. Wow. Wow. Well, there it is. Right on cue. And, uh, Again, it just opens up all those great views to us. There's the two good mountains across there and another one over there. Really look interesting. Something to research for the future. All right, down off the mountain and then back on the forest path. 
time to have a review of the walk. I've got to say that was a fantastic walk, very scenic, um, difficult conditions, quite boggy, but then there were other parts where it was stony and uh, easy to find your way. There is a good path, it's not way marked, but there is a good path the whole way to the top of Quilca. So I would say this is a far better walk than the boardwalk in terms of hiking and a hiking challenge. The boardwalk isn't, this is just you know, it makes it easy, um, but this is a real genuine hike. Uh, I really liked it. I think we'll come back here in the summer and do it again. And take our time over it, just enjoy it. And there's the road home. <laughs> wow, so getting very near. So I hope, I hope the video has turned out well. I hope. I've done a good job of putting it all together and trying to sell this uh, walk. I think this walk is a great walk. So I'll end the video here. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching and uh, I hope you like it. And uh, maybe it'll not be too long before we are back out with another video. All the best. There we go. Back at the car, walk done. And now for lunch and the Stravadada. <laughs> <laughs>